I'm going to read your introduction, Robert, and then you're up. Okay, very good. Okay, all right. So Robert Berryman um, is going to talk today about synesthetic healing. Since receiving his massage therapy certificate from the Massage School of Santa Monica in 1994, Robert Berryman has received advanced training in various bodywork techniques, including deep tissue, shiatsu, and aromatic massage, with a pioneering focus on synesthetic healing. Since 1999, Robert has devoted himself to his company's Yanya Aromatherapy and to his private bodywork practice in Los Angeles with a clientele that includes celebrities, entertainment industry executives, healthcare professionals, and, and me <laughs> occasionally. <laughs> None of the above, just boring old me. <laughs> Um, building upon his experience leading the massage department at Brooke Williams Spa, Robert has developed a healing methodology that encompasses a holistic view of the human life in the world. His reverence for the powers of essential oils, his understanding of the impact of light, and his work with sound have led him to pioneer a synesthetic approach to his work. Uh, now, uh, we will put information about his uh, website in the chat. And with that, I will uh, pass it over to you, Robert. Welcome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Intellectual listening is a kind of deafness. Listening intellectually is missing the message completely. The mind is a labyrinth of prejudices and ideologies and philosophies and fears. And the, there are several filters to reach the door of perception. The process of listening tends to color, change, and edit to make it what you want it to be, not what it is. You are fortunate if you can listen the right way, and that is putting the mind aside. So there's a new breed of healer that understands that matter, that matter is energy. The physical body is actually interwoven energy fields. And healing with pure energy is called vibrational energy. Synesthetic healing is a form of vibrational healing through the sensory portals with aroma and color, and sound and light, touch and taste. And, and synesthetic healing is a topic I really like a lot because whether it's neuroplasticity or aromatherapy or meditation or massage, um, there are so many unifying principles that manifest differently. It's almost as if it's all the same topic. And it refers to a merging of the senses, a union of the senses, and in Greek, sen means together and asthesis means sensation. And some people can hear sounds that produce a visualization of color. Stimulating any sensory input actually can intermingle with any other sensory input. I mean, when you think about eating, eating an apple, you're tasting, you're hearing it. Um, there are obviously flavors. There, there's a visual, whether it's, you know, if it's appetizing. And so you're using all of your senses when you eat, basically. So that's one idea of synesthesia. Um, our, sing, our senses do mingle more than we realize, and they provide unique ways of perceiving the world around us. So we're going to start by taking you on a journey through a synesthetic healing session. And synesthetic healing is an experience that connects through various senses. And I wanna refer now to my good friend, John Steele, who did a presentation on uh, the sacred use of smell and fragrance in the Amazon. And he explains that shamans are aware of the esoteric relationship between music and fragrance to balance the mind, body, and spirit using multi-sensory vibrational fusion. They sing fragrance songs, which are geometric patterns of energy to dissipate emotions of grief, anger, 
hate and envy. And so I've been guided by these ancient traditions to incorporate my knowledge, all my skills and modalities to help people. And that's why I became a massage therapist. And I, I worked on 10,000 people over 20 years in terms of massage therapy and learning my trade. And I started doing this synesthetic healing about, I would say, four years ago. And I've done a couple hundred people. Before we get into showing you a tour of how to do synesthetic healing, is I want to leave you with a question to think about. Are we thinking beings that feel, or are we feeling beings that think? What comes first? So now we'll go to the slide of the Jasmine Hydrosol. We start the session, you come into the room and we sip a Jasmine Hydrosol from a wine glass. The Hydrosol is a product of hydro distillation. It's the most ancient form of aromatic distillation. It's distilled at uh, very low temperatures for a long period of time. And the soul of the plant is released in the medium of water. The result is a rich but exquisitely delicate fragrance. You have a chance to actually intermingle with the soul of jasmine when you drink this hydrosol. You can feel the effects in your aura. You know, as we sip the water, we, we sip it as it's a very fine cognac or brandy. And the effects you feel are just antidepressant, a euphoric, and an aphrodisiac. So actually, so we drink the hydrosol and it has an effect, a very relaxing effect. And it sort of opens up certain portals in the brain and, and you feel this sense of euphoria after, you know, several minutes actually. And after you drink the hydrosol, I ask you to sit on the couch and you're gonna lie down and I'm gonna give you a treatment called a Neurolight. And that's a light and sound signaling device that utilizes brain engagement by stimulating and guiding a person in self-directed neuroplastic changes in the brain. Neuroplasticity is the ability of the brain to alter function and structure in the process of learning positive new behaviors and unlearning old negative patterns. And it's designed with the ability to choose a specific direction or lesson for neuroplastic change. And if I give you a image of a person lying under the neurolight, but you have your eyes closed and you have light going up your nose as well. And what this neurolight is offering for your brain is food and a workout and some skills, new skills. It challenges it challenges your brain by interacting, your brain signaling, interacting with the flickering light. The human brain is a profoundly complex adaptive system that is capable of self-organization and self-regulation given adequate energy and sufficient connectivity. And our brains are capable of endless creativity and discovery. So people say, you know, that, as you get to a certain age, you know, your brain won't grow anymore. You can't change. There's your, all your brain cells start to die off. And that's true, I guess, if you don't use it. It's just like the body. Use it or lose it. So this is one way to interface with a device to help you retain some of your mental faculties and also to help you learn and grow new things. What you see with your eyes closed or these kaleidoscopic images of flickering, flashing lights. And you also have earphones on, so there's a sound component. I guess you just call it music, but there's some other sounds that are buried in the music that sound like machinery or you know, different kinds of effects and sound. Maybe a stream of water. Maybe you hear frogs or the wind. In this uh, Neurolight, there are 80 different programs that I can direct. So 
what is it that you want to feel? What do you want to change in your brain? Do you feel the presence of past or current trauma? Um, are you experiencing anger or sadness or anxiety or lack of focus? Are there states that you'd like to experience like euphoria or bliss? I can actually dial it in and select a program of sound and light to even change your neuroplastic structure or ability, even if it's temporary. For example, I'll give you, I, was, I, was, I came home one time really sad. I left a client. I had an overwhelming emotional reaction to a separation. And I got under the Neurolight and I programmed it for um, some bliss or one of these programs or less sadness or more happiness. There's a, there's a bunch of different selections. But after the session, really, it actually just dissipated and I was able to let go of it and move forward. So when I have clients that come in thinking all these different thoughts and or having reactions to things that have happened in their day or even in their long their past, then I'm able to somewhat make these changes for them. And the curious thing about this uh, device that, that it comes with is a nasal clip. And this is infrared light that goes up the nose. Uh, and what it's doing is uh, shining light up your nose, but it, the light is being absorbed by the blood. I don't know if you know, but your brain actually uses the most blood of any organ in the body. And so when you get tired, a lot of times it's from your mental activity. So this is a way to boost brain vitality. Um, our energy for our bodies is supplied by nutrition, of course, but it's only one third of our needs. Thermal sources actually supplies two thirds of our energy requirements and nutritional requirements, mainly that sunshine. And so that goes into your skin and into your bloodstream. And what would we, what would life be without, without sunshine? So what happens is in the blood, it, it goes to every cell, obviously, and every cell needs what's called um, ATP. It's short for adenosine triphosphate, and it's the energy currency of life. Every cell needs ATP. It's produced by the mitochondria. So any cell that um, is a muscle cell that contracts or a, a mucosal cell that secretes, you need ATP. And we get, uh, we get into trouble when we get too low on our energy for our bodies. That's when things start to go wrong. So that's why this infrared light and this is a here's a client getting a session on the top of the couch there's a gold box and all the programs are located in the in the gold box and so i can control all the different programs the light intensity the length of the session and the sound all of that and so when you've had your Neurolight session, it takes a little while to come out of it. I don't try to get you off the, t the couch right away, but when you're done, then you come over to the massage table, which is right next to the Neurolight station. And then you get, oh, there's so many. I, I like to do just a regular circulatory massage, just to move energy. It's, it's gentle. It, but there's some firmness in places. I'm not trying to do anything special like untie knots or that kind of thing. I just want the whole session to be um, holistic. And obviously, uh, the power of touch is is pretty amazing. You know, a, a baby's development can be deprived, and it can grow frail without touch, without nurturing tactile touch. And uh, through the language of touch, you know, we bond, communicate. Um, our general wellness is increased. 
our blood circulation and limb flow. It relaxes us, we improve our immune response, um, eliminates body waste and intensifies sexual vitality. So I think that uh, what I'm doing is layering and hitting different aspects of the human being and trying to make a change in state. And hopefully it sticks. Now, sometimes you, you can do things, like I said, that are temporarily and fast, like a quick, a quick fix. But if you're looking for a long-term kind of solution to certain issues, then obviously repetition, just like working out, um, is the key. Uh, you can actually create improvement in different aspects of your life through training the brain. Uh, I, I want to work on the brain, I want to work on the body, I want to work through aromas and senses. I've made all these different blends that are very effective, mind and mood blends that I would use in this section, this session. But I also um, make blends that are, I would say, therapeutic for the body. And when you've reached that point of the session where everything is still, everything is quiet. I, then I come in and I play a song for you. Sometimes it's an acoustic um, instrumental song or sometimes I'll sing a song that I, that is just kind of soothing and reinforces the feeling that we created. And the sound of the guitar, you know, it produces sonic waves in natural harmonics. And uh, I, I, I like the West African kind of melodic, rhythmic, mes mesmerizing kinds of songs and music. And sometimes uh, to actually create even more integration of sound and fragrance, I will put a fragrance on my fingertips and play the song so you're actually getting a fragrant song or fragrant music. Or another technique I use is to lean against you, lean the body of the guitar against you while I play. So you actually feel the vibration of, of the music and the, the tones that go through your body. And then once that is done, um, I think I leave the person just in a whole different space. And people tell me that they have actually really enjoyed it and it made a change. You know, most, most people that I've used this on have uh, deep grief. Like I've had some clients whose mother has died or their dog died. And so it's a very, you can get stuck in this grief. But this is a great way to you know, open you up and open your heart and move, get some movement in your body and your mind to let go and to move on to heal. So I want to thank you for listening to me and, and attending this uh, sent, sent Summit. With your permission, we have a couple questions for you. Sure. Um, uh, Lakenda Wallace is asking, what is the uh, very technical question? What's the ratio of jasmine hydrosol to spring water for, uh, that you use for imbibing? So you, you could put about three to five, I would say five to seven sprays in there. And the idea, uh, again, is to sip it like it's a brandy or cognac. And you smell while you're sipping of course it's a wonderful scent so that's that's how we open the synesthetic healing session so you have you have taste and smell in the first one and then you have sound light and smell i don't know if you noticed with the light going up the nose i actually attached a little piece of cloth around that so that you can also smell as well so you're getting light sound and smell all in one session, all right? And then 
obviously the massage you are getting you're getting touch and smell and you'll get some sound as well but the i'm saving really the sound for the guitar and that beautiful sound of a acoustic guitar finger picking or strumming not you know not for very long but enough to to um, implant a good feeling in the mind and, and the heart uh, Lakenda says, thank you. The idea of drinking the jasmine and then light, sound, and touch is amazing. 360 degree healing. By the way, the fragrances on the fingers on the guitar is also brilliant. Um, so uh, Devin wants to know, um, do you do brain and heart entrainment with scent or do you match scent with audio and tactile forms of entrainment? Well, I have some programs called Bliss and I also have um, one called Euphoria. I have some others, but I do have blends that match the light and sound device. And those, that's my favorite. I mean, you can actually substitute other single notes or blends, but that's the point of it, I think, is to know um, the effect that you're trying to create with, with the light and sound and match it with the aroma. So when I do a euphoria, was, was there a slide of the, the, the there is control? A Controller I can device. Pull that up. Would you like me to do that quickly? Yeah, that would be great. Okay, let me just pull it up. Um, All right. So this is the, the device. This is my iPad, but the software I access through that gold box. And what shows up is uh, you can see it says session. So I can change the session there. But if you start at the bottom and you can see there are zones or peace, cognition, mood dependency and exploration. I can adjust the light intensity, I can adjust how long it plays for. And then the level of brain engagement is the next level up here, foundation, which means basic, intermediate, and advanced. So, um, and then the sessions, like I said, are 82, depending on which button you've pushed, you have other choices to make. But you can get pretty aggressive in terms of challenging the brain to grow. And it's just a, it's just a seed, it's a planting a seed and it's a, it's a stimulation that you can feel. The first time I ever had it, I felt it um, that whole evening. And I got home and my girlfriend said, wow, what's, what's gotten into you? Are you high? <laughs> I was, yeah, I was high on sound and sound and light. Um, you can really feel physically some changes. And sometimes if I'm really tired, kind of, you know, moping or uh, don't have a lot of brain energy, I can sit under the light and all of a sudden, you know, after that session, I feel motivated to, to do things. Clara actually asks, so Robert, um, I'm wondering if the fact of working with scents uh, induces some type of visualization in your clients that relates to plants rooting or similar. I would say that for me, it does. You know, my clients, I would have to actually uh, talk to each one of them about that. But with the Neuralite, what you're going to see under the light with the scent is it's actually creating these kaleidoscopic colors of, that are moving and shifting and flickering. So there's a lot of visual stimulation with the Neuralite. And I'm, I'm, I want to see how it really intermingles the different stimulation, whether it's sound, smell. And I don't know how that actually works for each person, but it, I'm sure it does. Just like synesthesia, some of us can see colors through sound or smell. I'm, I'm not synesthetic in that way. I'm, I'm sensitive to all of those things, but um, I'm not a synesthete in that sense. Although obviously I work with all these senses. So um, it means that uh, I have a sensitivity to working with them and feeling them. Um, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for your patience with the tech stuff. I'm sorry. Thanks for your patience. No, it's great. Yeah. It's great. It's great what you're doing. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you, Robert.
And so with your permission, I will, I will move you down to regular attendee and you can read out. 